People often ask me what the best part of this car is, and it's a very difficult question. My name is Quentin Boylan. I'm from Pretoria, South Africa. This is my Lotus Exige. So basically, this is Exige Lotus, full custom built. Got a SLS AMG engine, mid mounted at the rear. Albans ST6M gearbox. Full Motec management, traction control screen. BMW Motorsport ABS pump. It's a streetable car, it's registered on the street. Uh, I actually do drive it on the street, it's huge fun, but it, it usually, usually gets me in trouble. It's a full carbon fiber custom mold. As you look nicely, it's, it just simulates a Lotus Exige. It's much wider and it's a bit longer as well to accommodate the engine and gearbox. So it's a custom built. We made everything ourselves. We built the product first out of body boards and body putty or whatever not, shaped it and then took a mold of that. And from the mold, a, we made a carbon fiber copy of it. So it's got a SLS AMG motor. The reason why we use this uh, it's a 6.2-litre uh, motor, known as a 63, but it's got individual throttle bodies with a huge intake, ram intake, and it's also got a dry sump system from the factory. And that's why we opted to use that, because we're going to be using, or well, we are using the vehicle on the track. I mean, we played around today with it. It's got Audi triple eights on it. And uh, Charles Hubert did a 1025 with it today, which was quite impressive, since he hasn't been in a car since his accident about two years ago. But basically, this bolt took us about five years, I think. I can't even remember that's how long it's been. Look, we didn't want to rush it, firstly, and we, we, were, we were reliant on a lot of different manufacturers and fabricators to help us to get it where it is, because between me and, and, and Hercules, there's only so much things we can do. And obviously, running a business as well, you can't, this doesn't bring in money, it's just costing money. And don't even ask me how much it costs, because I don't know and I don't want to know. I built this vehicle because it just was a dream and actually driving today with a car just, it's so special because it actually makes you, you've realized your dream, you're actually experiencing your dream. And again, Hercules, Chonky, my right hand man, it's a dream we had and we sat together and decided we're gonna do something like this. It's the only one of its, one of its kind in the world. There's no other one that I know of. There might be some other mid mounted but I mean AMG powered. It's got full four-point harnesses, it's got two seats in it. I actually took my wife around the track today. That was great fun. Just to experience it with her, you know, her experiencing it with me. It just means a lot to me, because she's very passionate about all my race cars, and I'm so thankful for that, because I actually get away with a lot there. The wheels on this vehicle is fully forged three-piece race wheels. Yet again, because we said we wanted to race it. It's got AP calipers and discs right round. Fully adjustable three-way suspension. The dash is, uh, we made a mold of the Lotus dash and obviously uh, changed it a bit. This is a full custom carbon Kevlar interior done by Anton from Exclusive Conversions. They also did the body for me. We just made this to blend in with the yellow theme of the car and I think it does suit it actually. This SLS motor was imported from the Netherlands because I really tried to source one in South Africa. I think there might only been 
50 SLSs in South Africa. And I think they're all standing hidden away because it will never be built again. It's an aspirated, it's the last proper aspirated motor built by Mercedes. And this was sourced in the Netherlands and I had to ship it here. And it was a huge, huge concern for me because I waited about two months because the shipper was supposed to put it on a plane and he put it onto a boat. So yeah, that's just another thing that put the bolt back and waiting for it to be done at the end of the day. But at the end of the day, like I said, this is just this is just a dream between Hercules, myself, my team, my body shop painted this vehicle and they really took the extra time and effort to paint it and get it up to my standards which I think is quite high, and that's why my bolts is so special and one's off. The, the power output of this vehicle at altitude, it makes 570 horsepower on the wheels with 710 Newton meters. Uh, obviously the altitude being a normal aspirated takes about 15% away of it. I think we should reach about 650 horse at coast, coastal air with thicker air which will really create it in a big monster. The car weighs uh, 1150 kil uh, kilograms with me in it, which makes it very nimble if you look at the power figures and it accelerates very quickly. Well, people often ask me what the best part of this car is and it's a very difficult question. I think everything of it, the balance of the sound, the brakes, the looks, the performance, everything is just combined in a major package and it, 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 it just, it's just amazing. It's, the balance of the cause, it's, it's, it's amazing.